Hey guys, good evening and welcome to RC Crazy. In today's episode, I'm going to be talking about my new little whoop, uh, the Blade by Inductrix. Um, I've had this for a couple weeks now and I have not really broken it out to show you guys. I, I haven't done a review on it. This isn't going to be a review. This is kind of just an introduction to it so you guys can kind of follow me along. Um, my plans with this is I'm going to FPV this and I'm going to be putting bigger motors in it. Right now it's got 6 millimeter motors in it, but I'm going to put bigger ones in it. So it'll be able to handle stuff like about, like the camera and and um, stuff like that. So anyways, just to give it a little more boost. This thing comes with two covers. The red one is, which is the one you see. And then it comes with a blue one, which I don't put on. I haven't put on. And it came with this little dinky tiny uh, 1S 3.7 volt 150 milliamp 25C battery and I actually got batteries with it that are bigger and I get like it do they actually doubles my fly time and these are um, one cell 3.7 uh, 220 milliamps and 45C so that's what that, that's what I've been using. I haven't I haven't really used the little one much. I like the bigger ones. There's a longer fly time. I've noticed about six six and a half minutes with them, and I'm really happy with those. And let's see. Now when I when I go to FPV this, uh, I don't have any goggles yet, but I know somebody. Um, he has a channel on YouTube. His name is the Fly in Jersey. And he knows how to connect FPV to a laptop. So that's what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start off practicing FPV around the house, um, probably watching my laptop, watching through my laptop until I can get a decent pair of goggles to try out. I came with this 2.4 gigahertz controller. I'm not sure the range. I've only sent it out maybe at the farthest 60 feet away. So I'm not sh quite sure the range on it. Maybe we'll do a test on that one of these days. So far, it's been great. When, when we first got it, it was a pain in the butt trying to bind bind the drone to the controller. For some reason, it, it wasn't it didn't it wasn't bound. So yeah, anyways, that's that's pretty much the introduction for this this little drone. I'm gonna go outside now and fly it. So let's go check it out. Alright guys, so this is the um, Inductrix Blade Flight. This is a little whoop. I just wanted to show you guys uh, how this thing flies. I love it. I've been having lots of fun with this. Let's see. Now this has two modes. Um, regular and then acro. This comes with acro, so that's good. Oops, and apparently trim the trees. But uh, I tried acro a couple times, and it's a whole other animal. So I've yet to even begin to learn how to do any of that stuff. But that's why I got this thing because I'm going to be practicing with it. Um, let's see. Here's the R8. This is second gear. I have it out of granny gear just because I'm outside with it. And just a slight breeze, not too bad. But we just had a storm and it's really calm right now, so I figured I'd come out and, and show you guys what this thing is all about. So this is in the second speed mode. Let's see if we can. Get it out there and fly around. So my plans for this thing is um, I'm going to be putting bigger motors on it and I'm going to put an FPV camera on it. That's my plan. So I can start getting into it. This is going to be my experimental bird. 
Um, there are no buttons for uh, flips and, and tricks like that. Apparently I gotta learn how to do that stuff in acro mode. So that should be interesting. <laughs> like I said, I tried it in acro and it's a whole nother animal. This is a whole nother animal from what I'm used to because I, a lot of the whoops that I have are just toys. And they don't do anything that this thing does. This thing just tears it up. This is a nice little whoop here. Kind of turned. Not on a dime, but it's very responsive. And I'm loving it so far. Here's the yaw right on it. Let's see if I can do a little funnel action here. Here's a funnel. It's a really tight funnel. Um, this thing has like a five or six minute fly time on it when I have the, the bigger batteries in. And the only thing that's, that stinks I, I kind of don't like is uh, when the battery is low, <laughs> it doesn't let, warn you. There's no... It just kind of just starts blinking and then drops out of the sky, which I don't like. I don't like that at all. I need some kind of a warning so I can bring it back and not let it get damaged anyway. And it, I won't catch it. I can't wait to be able to learn acro because this thing is going to be an animal even more than what it already is. So that'll be nice to check out and learn. Ah. Like I said, when the battery is low, it just starts blinking and then it goes down, so that kind of sucks. I don't want it to go down in the water. Look at the funnel action. Look at that. It's nice. <laughs> See if you can get a little bit of rock in action here. cradle. There it is rocking the cradle right there. A little bit. But yeah, it's, I haven't really done a review, so this is just kind of a an introduction to or int yeah, introduction to this this little whoop here. So I got some plans for it in the future. And it's really nice. Flies great inside. Um, I accidentally got it stuck in Mrs. RC's hair last week messing around in the house with it. Normally I film everything, but while I've been messing with this, I haven't done too much filming. And so now Mrs. RC's head is a no-fly zone. So, yeah. It was fun while it lasted, but she was busy on the laptop doing stuff with her, uh, her uh, uh, shirts and, and designs and, and stuff like that. And I was flying it just like this and then all of a sudden it disappeared and then there's a flop in her hair and she's yelling at me and and it was not pretty. Although I thought it was funny. She didn't. <laughs> yeah, I apologize on. So her head is no long is a is now no longer or is now a fly free zone. <laughs> I do have all the other six batteries for this thing. So that's that's a pretty good time right there. That's at least an hour of fun. Something like that. One battery after the other. So that'd be cool once I get a camera on this thing and FPV it. I'm gonna start practicing flying around the house. And uh then once and then once I get brave enough I'm gonna try acro. And once I get some goggles I'll try some acro and I'll go to the park with it. Oh, that's it. See? There it is, guys. It just starts blinking and then and then she drops. Hey right, guys, so as you can see, this thing is a really decent flyer. I can't rate can't wait to do some upgrades with it. 
and then be able to, to test it out further. And uh, you guys will be, follow, be able to follow me along through that process, so that'll be cool. Um, so if you like what you've seen, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to come check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you want need to get a hold of us for any reason, we have an email address. It's all lowercase, rccrayz at yahoo.com. And don't forget, guys, just keep droning.